I'm gonna cut these dovetails. I mentioned a couple mistakes and spots that I'm gonna have to fix. So here's one of them. Uh, as you can see, the corner blew out on this a little bit. Um, not sure why, it doesn't really matter. The, the fix is pretty easy. What I'm gonna do is come in here. Um, I'm looking at my grain, Let's see if I can illustrate this. And my grain across the end, this is all in grain, runs at kind of an angle like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda come and cut a clean edge across that break with my chisel, kind of at the same angle as that grain. And then what I have here, when I cut all these, this is all the off cuts. I swept them up from the floor and saved them. I'm gonna be able to use some of these thinner pieces. There's a couple gaps that I know exist once I put this together. Um, but also these larger off cuts from, you can see these are from cutting the dovetails out. They work perfect for what I need. So what I'm looking for is a couple of them that when I look at the end grain, I can see kind of a, a grain match, color match, you know, where, where it's kind of going it the same way and I can kind of cut a corner off of that and glue it on. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. So there I have a piece and I've cut it oversized. You know, I, I didn't need to cut it to the exact size I need. What I'm gonna do is glue it on actually work better on this side. No, I like the other way. I'm gonna glue it on, and then after the glue dries, I will pair it back to being an even match and get everything cleaned up. Flatten that out a little. There we go. Once those spots in the dovetails were fixed, I can move on to the glue up of the upper case. And when I went into this, what I was most worried about was grain swelling. These joints were already pretty tight. And I also knew that the grain on the side of the case was pretty weak. I already had it crack once. And I was worried that the dovetails would get too tight and I wouldn't be able to put them together without cracking it. And I actually wasn't far off. The dovetails themselves went together, but this piece across the back of that cable channel actually turned out to be a bigger concern. I have the audio muted here, but if I didn't, what you'd be hearing right now is a few choice swear words. So that did not go as well as I was hoping it would. Um, I definitely ran into problems and had to think pretty quickly. A couple things happened. I got the glue on this side. I got it in place. I got it clamped in. The clamping, I think, turned out to be a bigger problem because putting pressure on these, it wanted to come in and, and push in more than 90 degrees. So I did what I could with some 90 degree clamping blocks to try and keep it up and I was prepared for that. But what I wasn't prepared for was um, when I went and put this bottom rail in across the cable channel here, which connects to the other side. So I get it in, I get the other side full of glue and get the dovetails in and get it clamped up and same thing happened it wants to push in more than 90 degrees on that side and when it did it pushed this side out and cracked it right down right back here by this point grain swelling right so everything swelled up and everything's starting to seize up over on this side i can't just take this apart to 
really give this a, a proper fix. So I tried to squeeze all the glue I could in from either side. I've got extra clamps on here holding everything together. Hopefully there's enough glue in there that that, that holds up. Got that straightened out got everything clamped up where it should be. Everything's 90 degrees again. It's just, I ended up with this big crack down the side here. Um, it, it is fixable, but I talk about a stressor. I've still got a lot more to clamp in here, but I'm not gonna touch that. I'm gonna give this a half hour or so and come in and scrape up um, whatever extra glue I can before it completely hardens, but I'm probably gonna let this sit in these clamps overnight just to be sure, and then see what I've gotta clean up in the morning. I'm getting ready to install these drawer dividers which are on sliding dovetails. <clears throat> One of the things I need to keep in mind is grain direction. The grain on the bottom of this desk runs from left to right here which means it's going to expand front to back. The grain on my drawer dividers runs front to back which means it's not going to expand front to back which is the reason I wanted to use sliding dovetails because I can keep a good joint all the way back but still allow for movement. And how I'm gonna do that is two things. Number one, when I put these in, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in the back and I'm gonna do that just by putting a couple of playing cards in there just to give me kind of a, a good amount of, of predictable space. But then also, I'm only going to put glue on the fronts here. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. With everything glued up, I can move on to actually cleaning up the dovetails. And I took care of some of the bigger problems before I assembled either case. And that's what I showed earlier with the grain blowout that I fixed. But I still have some small gaps to take care of. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use a variation of the sawdust and glue trick. And in this case, I'm using CA glue. In fact, I'm using thin CA glue because it'll get down to the cracks a little bit and I just like how it works. The only thing to watch out using this method is that it'll soak into the end grain and create a darker spot that you can kind of see there. And if you're not careful, that'll remain. What I did is I went back and actually filled in the rest of the end grain with some thin CA glue. To take care of some of the larger gaps that I have in there, I use those same off cuts that I used to fix the dovetail earlier on before I glued up. But in this case, I'm using some medium CA glue and then kind of shoving those pieces down in there. Once they're paired away with a chisel and cleaned up, sanding, etc., you can't see that there was ever a gap there. So I installed these pieces long because there was no way I was gonna match the, this curve perfectly. So I figured the best thing to do was to install it long and come back and clean it up with a block plane and level it out that way. So with the more difficult uppercase glue up complete, I can move on to the lower case. And a, a couple things different on this. First of all, I have this back panel and I have to make sure that that's pre-finished before I can install it. Second is these supports. I need to get them installed before I put the case in just so that I can access them with clamps. Um, I, I need to get around on the sides of them and I just, it would be a lot more difficult if the two sides in the back of this were blocked. But one thing to note here, again, having to do with wood movement, is that I only put glue in the middle. Uh, I've got about two inches there where there is glue and that'll allow those the movement of the case itself to expand front to back. Another thing I did differently on the lower case glue up is I switched glue. I learned my lesson using the PVA glue on all those tight dovetails on the top section. So here I moved to a liquid hide glue. 
which one, gives me much more open time, but two, doesn't swell the grain. And overall, I am extremely happy with how this worked out. And I think for dovetails in the future, this is what I'm gonna be moving to. I really liked how easy it was to assemble and how few problems I had with the actual glue up and assembly. Everything cleaned up with water, which is also nice. And overall, it was a lot less stressful. So I spent a lot of time in this video basically showing off and then fixing my mistakes or, or the gaps or the problem areas. And that's because I, I didn't want to hide that because it's an important part of it. With all of this hand cut joinery, there's no way I was going to get it perfect. I mean, maybe 20 years from now with more practice, but it's, it's really not something very likely. I'm overall very happy with how everything looks now that it's together. but. I did not want to hide the fact that sometimes there's as much skill in, in fixing those gaps or fixing those um, grain blowouts or, or those mistakes, if you want to call them that, um, as there is with, with building the rest of it. So my crack from um, when I was assembling this top section, I, I, that came out beautifully once I, I got it fixed. And overall, I'm, I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to end this video here. In the next one, I'm going to be tackling the subtop and the top. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you come back for the next one. Thanks.